Now to developing news out of Suffolk. We're learning more information about a fire that destroyed a home this morning. Police confirm a 911 dispatcher owned the house that went up in flames. The fire broke out on Indian Trail at the corner of Deer Path Road around 1:30. 10 on your side's Jason Marks spoke with the dispatcher today. And Jason, this is so heartbreaking. What did she have to say about this devastating situation? Guys, this is just devastating this morning. You can see behind me what's left of Barbara Hughes's home here in Suffolk. Hughes, as you mentioned, is an emergency dispatcher here in Suffolk. She was actually working this morning when that call came in. She took the call. It was around 1.30. Hughes was dispatching those fire crews to Indian Trail where she lives. Now, she had a thought that maybe it was her home because she lives on Indian Trail. And then all of a sudden, she noticed the name on the dispatch log to the person who called the, the, the fire in and she realized that was a neighbor of hers and then she came out here shortly after she sent the fire trucks out here and realized it was her home as you can see it is destroyed including all of her belongings and her three dogs who lived inside she's been a dispatcher for more than 20 years and she says she never thought that this would happen to her so i was telling my co-workers that that's my house and then i kind of wasn't sure and then i wasn't I was wishy-washy whether it was my house or the house in front of me or maybe it was just flames from a mile down the road. But I felt it. I felt it that it was my house. And I was working the Fire and Rescue Channel last night and I dispatched my own. I dispatched my own fire to my house. <laughs> Now, as you can see, fire investigators are still here in the house. What they're trying to do is figure out what started this fire, but yeah, it is going to be a total loss. The community is really, though, helping to trying to pitch in to get Barbara Hughes back on her feet. They started a GoFundMe page. It's quickly going up in money. Uh, you can find a link to that on wavy.com. Barbara says that she's just glad that she's okay. Unfortunately, though, she lost her three dogs in the fire and obviously everything that she owns. Now, you'll hear from from her more coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 starting at 4. Uh, we'll have much more on this story, but that, that's the latest here in Suffolk. Jason Marks 10 on your side.